cutest thing you will ever see in your Minecraft world. It's a banana duck. In today's Minecraft video, I bring you one of the best add-ons I've ever checked out. This is called Billy's Mobs, introducing over 25 new animals slash mobs to the game. Created by Billy Zambi on Twitter. I'll leave a couple links down below as to where you can find him, but also the download. This will completely transform your Minecraft experience. Introducing things like swordfish, introducing orcas, piranhas, anglefish, pigeons, and so much more. Trust me, make sure you watch this whole entire video. So many cool things towards the end. So like I said, there is over 25 animals slash mobs. I'm going to be checking out 10 of them myself. The rest you guys are going to go and have to explore and you're going to want to after this video. The first one we have today is pigeons. Introducing pigeons. Now if we hit a pigeon, it flies away. It's not happy. It's not happy that you're hitting it. Now there's a couple of different variations available throughout the world. They will spawn in plains and flower forests and they can be tamed with seeds and they can wear hats. They're so beautiful. So a couple of things about this is they have three hearts of health. They spawn in plains and flower forest. They will poop Every 10 to 20 minutes, they do have no fall damage, and you can put a hat on it. There's a bunch more details about this, so feel free to pause if you want to read it. We gotta check them out, we really do. So, let's 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 meet this one. I like the color of this one, so we can tame it. There you go, look at him, it's a little pigeon. We can tame him, and check this out. Wait, I think he can sit, right? No, oh, wait. Oh, we can wave to him? Oh, I can wave to the pigeon. But look at this, we can put a hat on it. I can put a hat on my pigeon. <laughs> That's like the coolest thing ever. And we can take, we can make it sit, make it stand, make it sit, make it stand. We can take the hat off by, by tapping on it again with another hat. But he wears a hat. They are so cute. But like, wait, wait, what happens if we get like a baby one? Oh, it makes him bigger. Oh, this guy's grown up. He's a fully grown one. Do you want a hat too? Yes, you do. Yes, you do want a hat. But we can wave. I didn't know this was a thing. I can wave to the pigeon. Uh, that is like one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a Minecraft add-on. And look at them. Look at his little head bobbing. His head will bob. So they're super cool. And that is the first one. We're going to leave these in my world because I got to see when it poops. So just when you think it can't get any better than a pigeon, check this out. This is called a banana duck. And they are the cutest thing you will ever see in your Minecraft world. It's a banana duck. They're so happy too. Now there's so many cool things about this. So let me grab my chest of goodies. So a couple of things about this is you are able to tame these with bread and a couple of other things as well. Now when you tame it, it just sits down. <laughs> you, got, you got to tap on it to stand it up. It just sits down. Now when you feed it an apple, in return, it will give you a sand banana. If you eat a sand banana, it will give you effects. Now these effects are randomized every single time, but every single apple that you give to him, you will get obviously multiple bananas. And obviously you eat these and you get so many different effects. And it's super cool, it's super cute. And it gets better because this little guy, there he is, he will jump up in the sky every now and then. He will even wear a hat as well. And he just flies, but he flies with the banana peel. Like, how is that not the best thing ever? I just realized I got two pigeons with a hat and a banana duck. And they just follow you and they're just amazing. And this little guy is the best thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. Look at the way he waddles. <laughs> I love him. I love his little hat too. It's so cool. There you go. You deserve a hat, little guy. So we checked out pigeons. We checked out the banana duck. Next, we have great white sharks and also hammerhead sharks. Now, both of these will spawn in your oceans and they act somewhat similar in terms of their abilities. And look at that. We actually have some hammerheads over there. They will spawn naturally. They will spawn in all kinds of shapes and sizes. So a couple of things about the Great White. And like I said, it's somewhat similar to the Hammerhead. So it is. Health has 20 health. Spawns in oceans, mostly common in deep ones. 7.5 hearts attack damage. So don't get hit by this. They will attack 
angler fishes, meerkats, swordfishes, pizza fishes, cods, and monsters. I'm gonna teach you about all of these as well in this video. They will drop cod bones and shark teeth used to upgrade the fish sword. Drops more teeth on tame that on than on death. It has three separate personalities. Shy, uh, fears players, which is like a one in third chance. Hostile, attacks players. Sp doesn't spawn naturally, but when a player hits a shy shark, it permanently becomes hostile. They also have neutral two players, which is a two in three chance. I'm going to start off with checking out how big the great white shark is. We've got a swordfish over there. So let's go to forward slash game mode S. Let's swim with the great white. So he doesn't seem to be too interested in me. But if I hit him, let me tell you, he's he's going to hurt you. Yeah, he's trying to get on land. And as mentioned, it does have 20 health points. So you're going to have to beat on this quite a bit in order to get some drops. Listen to the sound though. We've got a shark tooth, which can be used for upgrading and also some bones as well. But listen to like the sound it makes when it dies. It makes it's like it's like a pug snoring. Next up, we have the hammerhead shark. Now these spawn in all shapes and sizes and colors as well. Now these guys... I believe there is a chance, a very slim chance, that drowns can naturally spawn with a saddle riding one of these. Now, in terms of attacking the player, again, it's a rarity. A lot of the sharks are shy. They're not really interested in the player. Some, on occasion, will be angry. And some, on occasion, will attack players. This is an anglerfish. They're very, very ugly. And there's quite a lot to learn about these. Now, these come in all shapes, and sizes, and colors. Now, these you will typically find at the bottom of your oceans. Typically, really, really deep oceans. And we do have an orca, which we will get into in today's video as well. But there's so many sharks down there. So, the anglerfish typically lives down the bottom. All the way down here. And he's just been consumed. Oh, wait. Like, they literally just consume the whole thing. Let's get a bunch of these. This, like, their, their, their lights do drop off as well. So if we grab ourselves a sword real quick and we attack one of these before the whole, the whole ocean kills everything, there is a chance that you can get this. So this angler fish light will make fish attack the player, but you'll take no damage because, as you should know, the angler fish uses this light to lure in the food it's going to eat, such as fish. So if we get really, really close to some of these fish, they begin to attack us, but you won't take any damage. Oh yeah, you probably noticed that we're picking up iron, gold, diamonds, and seagrass. There is a rare angler fish that can drop these upon death. Hey, finally pooped. There you go, after 10 minutes or so, <laughs> the pigeons will poop. Uh, that's the only reason why I kept these guys around because I needed a way for them to poop although I have no idea what the poop is used for I, I have no idea next on our list. This is the meerkat now the meerkat has 10 health 2.5 hearts plus slowness for 15 seconds. It will attack all of these it is neutral to players It will drop 0 to 3 uh, pickle pet fertilizer Again, we'll explain that in a bit, and it spawns in oceans. Literally a cat, but also a mermaid at the same time. So you did see them before, and yes, we do have orcas in this pack as well. And a couple of things that we need to show you about this. They also eat sea pizza. I'll explain the whole pizza thing in just a second. So the orcas, a couple of details about this. They have 30 hearts, which I think is the strongest in this pack. They will do 8.5 attack damage. They are neutral to players. You can already see a beautiful one over there. They're really, really fast. They attack everything, including sharks. So if we feed this, right, because we're going to feed it some pizza fish. Come on, come on. If we feed it this, right, it makes them rideable. Now, unfortunately, you can't guide these to where you're going, but you can ride them in case you wanted to experience this. The most beautiful animal of the oceans and i really like the orca i wish you could guide where it's going but at least you can ride it next up the pizza fish 
The way this works is absolutely brilliant. So, pizza fish will spawn naturally in waters, but they are hunted by absolutely everything. Everything wants a bite of the pizza fish. So it's, yep, it's exactly what you thought. It is uh, a fish that looks like a pizza. Like I said, things will attack it, but like it gets so much better. So these things can be tamed. Now, one thing I want to show you is that you can actually shear this. Now, when you shear it, the pizza fish loses part of it, of itself, until it disappears and dies. How mean is that? So, like, if we were to cut this off a little bit, I believe we can put it back together. Yay, there we go. We made an advancement. So, you're able to cut off the pizza fish, but also put it back together. It is the coolest concept I've ever seen in Minecraft, and I absolutely love it how this works it is it is brilliant it is brilliant but like i said everything wants a bite of the pizza fish so these things don't last very long in your oceans but they're beautiful and i like them and they're my favorite thing well actually no the banana duck is my favorite and then these the last one we're checking out today is the snails a couple of things to learn about the snails actually so the snails have a lot more use than you expect now snails will be tamed using things like sea pickles or wheat or any kind of leaves. So we'll tame this one with this, we'll tame this one with the wheat, and we'll tame this one with the with the pickles. Now when you tap on them again, they kind of go into like a sleeping mode. They basically curl up. Oh, you can wave at them too. <laughs> can I wave at like all of these? Dude, it's so cool. It's like a crouch and a wave animation. If we kill a snail, they will drop this, which is a raw... Uh, weakness snail shell. However, there's several and uh, many different abilities and, and colors as well, by the way. So each one will drop like a, a different kind of one. So this one is withering. This one is slowness. Now you can actually smelt these. And what they do is the opposite effect. So we'll do, uh, let's do slowness. So when we do the slowness one, it will give us swiftness. So you've got cooked which is going to give me strength, which I imagine the weakness will give you strength. You've got swiftness, which is the one we're currently cooking. You've got regen, which I think is the opposite of withering. So really, really cool. Obviously, you can consume these. It's going to give me the weakness ability, which you don't want. If we eat this, it's going to give us the withering ability, which, which you... Oh, come on. Do it again. Come on. Give me the withering ability. It's, there you go. It's giving me the withering ability. Obviously, that's dangerous and, and will hurt you. So when you cook these, they give you the opposite effect. So this one now gives us the swiftness ability. Come on. There we go. We're able to go super, super fast. Now, we tamed a couple of these, didn't we? So did we tame you? I think we, we're taming you now. There you go. Look, it's a sleeping snail. Look, look, look. He's, sleep, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. They will sleep. Sleep, little guy. Sleep. Oh, we're breeding them. I didn't mean to do that. I, I, want, I want you guys to, to sit real quick. Hey, we got a baby snail. So some of them will sleep and some of them will not. Well, he was definitely catching the Zeds. Um, and they will attack mobs for you. Get a husk and we attack it. Yeah, they're incredibly slow, right? But as our army, your snails will defend you. What's better than that? And these guys will spawn naturally. Obviously, all the things we're showing you today will spawn naturally in various different biomes. I absolutely love this. There is that many mobs in this pack. I could probably do this video for over an hour. We have things like swordfish, zombie cat, skeleton cat, pickle, pet. We've got piranhas, hamsters, kiwis, uh, duck centipede, and electric eel. This is a boss. Everything you need is in the link in the description. So you've got, oh yeah, sorry about that. I should probably put you in the oceans. Oh my God, we've caused a chaos. Poor pizza fish. You got the swordfishes. You got the zombie cats, which will burn in daylight, yes. Same with skeleton cats as well. I think they do come with some special abilities. We got a pickle pet. <laughs> I haven't learned about these yet, so I'm still learning and understanding a lot. Uh, we did show you the piranhas before, but I'll show you again. These guys will just eat anything and everything. We got little hamsters. <laughs> uh, you gotta be really careful though, because cats will attack them. We got kiwis. We got a duck centipede and an electric eel. Again, these need to be in the oceans. Um, be very careful with the duck centipede. They look really, really cool. Um, yeah, but th they end up like this. And it gets too much. And they just keep spawning. And it's not good news at all. So you gotta be really, really careful with the duck centipede. Because you'll have so many mobs inside of here. And you don't want that. Hey! 
Oh, there was so many with this one. And they're kind of holding this little duckling here hostage. So you gotta, you, you gotta save the duck, basically, and kill all these evil duck centipedes. But we need to find a leader, which I think is this guy here. So yeah, you can see this duck is holding him hostage. Let's save the little, the little guy. I saved you. You're saved. You're so cute. Wait, if we give him some bread, let's give him some bread real quick. Does this uh, make him my friend? He's got a little hat on. We can make him big too. Yeah. Now we got this. Wait, what is he? He's a duck. <laughs> I got some things to show you guys too. There is so many things inside of this pack. So the um, pickle pets can drop fertilizer. I showed you the angler fish light thing. We got throwable ducks, snail helmets, and so many more things. So we can actually throw ducks. <laughs> we can throw ducks. <laughs> How cool are they? Look at the animation. Uh, you've got a snail helmet, which I, I think it's just, it doesn't make you slow, just so you know. Uh, you've got a golden swordfish. You've got swordfish steak which you're able to cook. You've got swordfish fin. Um, I think the sticks can be used to craft a fish sword. And then you've got swordfish fillet as well. So super impressive. It's such a cool mod slash add-on slash pack. And the last thing I wanted to show you is that the ducks can actually wear armor. So we tamed our little duck friends. We can actually put diamond armor on him or even netherite armor, right? And I, I'd have to get a new duck. But the ducks are really, really cool. And they wear the little hat. So if we grab ourselves another hat, will it pop off that hat? No, no, come back, little guy. Come back. He'll pop off that hat and then you can put it back on. <laughs> That's super cool. This pack is 10 out of 10. There's so many more things that we could check out. So go and check it out for yourself. You will not be disappointed. I wish I could put this hat on myself too. That'll be really, really cool. Have a wonderful day. Links are down below. See you next time.